because we're live. Hi everyone! Welcome to the Wellness uh, Wake Up with Nat. I'm really excited to be here with you today. And um, just one minute so that we can check to make sure that everything is working well. I'm just going to get my hubby to check our live and make sure that all is good. Because a notice just came up to say that maybe it didn't quite stream correctly. You got your phone there, Mike? He's just going to check to make sure it's streaming and that the sound is working. So while he's doing that, I wanted to say hi, I'm Nat, and I am a Connections, Communications and Outreach uh, Coordinator. And with me today is my daughter, Charlie. Charlie uh, is eight years old, but will be eight soon, and she goes to Lord Elmer School. So Charlie's going to help me kind of go through all the different things that we have here because we're going to be talking about uh, the Calm Down Kit. So uh, first of all, I want to talk quickly about why having a Calm Down Kit is so important for children uh, and the fact that we actually as adults also have a Calm Down Kit. So we don't actually have a kit, although sometimes we might have some stuff in our purses or uh, in our room, in our baskets, but basically for us our Calm Down Kit are tools or strategies or things that we have around the house. So for instance, when we're reading or when we're cooking and baking. So all these kinds of strategies that help us deal with our stresses and our anxieties and our big emotions basically. So the reason that I like doing a calm down kit for kids is because when they're first introduced to this, it's nice to kind of have a little kit that they can go to because it's fun. It's something that they can play with and something that they can learn to use over time. And that's the important thing here is that when using the Calm Down Kit, um, it evolves, right? It changes as the child changes. And the child will actually start using all the different tools and they'll end up picking some that they prefer over others. And that's great. You know, if there's a tool like this thing here, for instance, that they love to stretch and whatnot, and, tell. and they spend a lot of time doing that, then that's great because that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to kind of figure out what works for them. Um, another thing as well is as they get older, they'll start finding new things to add in their kits. And that's great as well because they're starting to kind of learn about their own emotions, which is a really important part of this. And it's also to learn about, you know, what tools and strategies work for them. So that's um, really important as well. So I wanted to talk about um, the physical Calm Down Kit. So having the Calm Down Kit, which we're going to put together in a few seconds. Um, but also the importance of um, using it. So when you first use your Calm Down Kit for your child, it's really important that you use it with them, right? Because this is also new for them, right? And not just the kit, but also the idea of understanding their own emotions and their feelings. I mean, all of this, a lot of times, well, when they're really young especially, it's very new and sometimes they won't have the words to kind of add on to those different feelings and emotions and they won't also understand why they're feeling this way. They'll be sad, they'll be stressed, they'll be anxious, they'll be angry. So um, helping them understand these emotions, giving these different emotions names and then uh, helping them cope with these emotions before they become those big emotions and the you know, the, um, I guess, the temper tantrums and whatnot. So, and the anxiety as well, when it can really get, you know, out of hand and whatnot. So helping them with those strategies together is really important. So when you do your Calm Down Kit with your child, it's important that you choose the items together and then you introduce each item with your child <laughs> so that they really understand how to use them. And you want them to use each item when they're relaxed and calm. So you kind of want to make that association between the item itself um, and that calmness, right? So Charlie's going to show us right here to have what we have here is a visual item that we have, which she really likes, I think. Is that one of your favorite ones? Yeah, I think so, eh? So why don't you show us how to use it? So it's little bubbles that stream down, which is a lot of fun. And there was my son actually that just came up. That was Aiden. So this is a really nice grounding tool that you can use for children when they really need that time to just have that stimulation, that relaxed tool um, with the bubbles going up and down. And this one I find that a lot of kids really enjoy because it just gives them something to really, um, I guess, um, 
you say that? To focus on, right? That focus that they need to kind of distract them from all those feelings and whatnot. And it's very soothing as well when you see the bubbles falling down. So this is a really nice one. And I'm actually going to get Charlie to put it in our home mail kit. So that's a keeper. Another one that we have here is our stretchy one. And these tools, actually, a lot of them I actually got from Amazon. So this one's a really nice one. It's a stretchy one. So if they're feeling like angry or aggravated at HR, you can like stretch it and just get all those emotions out, you know? So it's a really nice one to have. And I know that my kid, kids really enjoy it. Um, so this is something that you would use when you're like just wanting to, you know, get those emotions out. Another one that I, that I really like as well is this marble fidget tool, and it's in case, which is nice because if you have younger kids, although I wouldn't use it with the very young ones, it's safe, right, because the marble is encased within that fabric. And I like this one because it can actually be used when you're out and about, right, because um, it's not loud, it doesn't distract other people, it's a nice little tool to use as a fidget, and, uh, and Maybe even the teachers in the classroom would be okay with using something like this. Of course, I'd always ask them first, but it's just a really nice tool to kind of just use and push. And, and sometimes, especially if kids are biting their nails or if work is hard to do, they can kind of use that while they're doing their work. Another one that I really like as well is the pinwheel. And the pinwheel, the bubbles, oh, we forgot the Play-Doh. The Play-Doh is a really nice one. Maybe we should show that one first. So the Play-Doh is a really nice one because Play-Doh, especially in these little containers, <laughs> is great for traveling with, right? Um, and the nice thing is what you can do, and when I did the Calm Down Kit a few weeks ago uh, with the parent chat with my parents, we actually added some drops of essential oil. So you could put in lavender oil, you could put in peppermint oil. Lavender is great for soothing. And there's peppermint only one. Yeah, there's only one. Well, we have others as well. And then there's the peppermint oil that we have as well. And that one's really, uh, if you have a headache or if you need to focus. So there's a lot of different ones. And if you look online, you can see how to use each one. And you just add a few drops in there. And when they're using it, they can also smell it. So you have the physical, right, that you're using and kind of playing with it and whatnot. But you also have the this sense of calming as well. So the next ones that I really want to look at are our breathing tools. And I really love these breathing tools because like the other ones, they're a lot of fun. So I really, really love this one. So one of the things to teach kids, and that's a very different, a difficult concept, is breathing calmly. And this is something that you really have to sit with your child to kind of do in the day-to-day -day so that they kind of are able to then when they have anxiety or stress or they're just feeling those emotions they're able to use this tool to calm themselves down so the nice thing about the pinwheel is obviously it's fun but it's nice as well because we can blow on it slowly and we can blow on it quickly so there's different ways of of using the breath so Charlie should we blow on it slowly let's try slowly So the idea of taking that really deep breath in and out and just blowing it really slowly. And then using it quickly too. And teaching kids that to kind of slow down the breath, they've got to slow down the pinwheel. So if you're too excited, a strategy to kind of get the pinwheel to slow down is to kind of slow down that breath. So doing that together, you know, and having fun with it. And in fact, what I did is what we've done actually is we've put together these different um, cards and we have them on our website, on the Connections website, and I'll make sure to add the links. And these cards are really great for kids because sometimes it's nice to have a visual, right, of what to do. Um, and there's the Mindfulness 54321 tool. Yeah, and then there's the Star Breathing tool. Yes, you do because you've done the yoga and whatnot. And then there's the pinwheel breathing tool. Pinwheel. Yeah, and there's lots of other, I mean, other resources online as well. Tiger, is that color? It is for coloring. So a lot can of kids, I yes, you can after, after. So a lot of kids love to color as well. And that's another thing that you can have as a little notepad or, or journal. 
The reason that I love this one, it's an affirmation tool. So um, you can sit with your child, right, and kind of read through these. And some of them are, I am brave for trying. I accept myself exactly as I am. My feelings matter. Learning makes me stronger. I am kind and thoughtful friend. I learn from my mistakes. I never, never give up. And my smile brightens the day for others. And as you go through them, you can choose one or two a day and whatnot. And in time, when they see this card, it'll remind them of all those amazing things about them, right? So I really like this affirmation card. And you can find lots of resources online. And the reason that I like to put them in card format is these are really nice to go in the kit. So, yeah, we'll do the bubbles next. So the bubbles is another fun one. Who doesn't love bubbles? I think even adults love bubbles. So the bubbles is another breath one where you have to learn to breathe really slowly to make your bubbles. And we're going to open it. This one's a little tougher to open, and Charlie's going to show us how to do a Wait, bubble. Wait, I didn't know this was in here. Yeah. A slow Wait. breath, though. Can you do what? a slow breath bubble? Oops! <laughs> oh, that was a quick breath. See, you have to use a slow one. But it's hard. Mm-hmm. There we go. Awesome. That one. And just having bubbles is just a really fun tool because, again, it grounds them, right? It calms them. It gives them that uh, mechanism to calm themselves as well. So another fun tool. We're going to put that one away, and we're going to put it... Charlie, we're going to take that one, and we're going to put it away, and we're going to put it in our calm down kit, like this. Oh, we should also take our red one apart, so that's going to go in our calm down this kit. This is too big. Yes, that one is a little big. And we're also going to put our little breathing one here in the calm down kit as well. So the next one that we have, and actually, um, Lori has... Charlie, come on. Very nice now, okay. Lori actually went through this uh, last yesterday afternoon, and it's the whole idea of using your hand to breathe. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, make sure to go back on our Connections Facebook page. You can also see it on our YouTube channel. Um, she has some really great things that she did there in terms of breath. YouTube channel. Yeah, and this is a really nice tool to use instead of a hand or if you have a big ball or whatnot. Um, so basically, you just breathe in and out following the star. It's also great you know, for doing the squeezy thing, right? Squeezy. <laughs> I'll let you put that in there. So we're going to put that in here, and we're going to close our calm down kit. Now, of course, you have to, you can make your calm down kit any way you want. You can create little cards to add in there to kind of give kids that visual. And again, these cards are available on our website. You can do some cards as well for the older kids, you know, for youth and whatnot. And those ones can be, uh, do some skipping, yeah, go for a bike ride, so all the fun things to kind of remind them of the things that they can do. And these little clips are really fun. I bought these on Ruan Gold, and you just have to kind of put a hole in the card and clip them together and put them somewhere safe in your in condom your kit. Now, other things that you can put in your condom kit, I'm just going to see the time, it's kind of running, it's when really you're talking a lot, I guess. Just... Remember that if there's something that your child really likes in the Calm Down Kit, include it. So I have a child who loves to have these on because of, you know, loud noises and whatnot. So having this on really helps him. Having an album filled with pictures of things that they love and people that they love, especially these days, right, when things can be really stressful. A picture of grandma and grandpa, a picture of the animals and pets that you have, a picture of siblings and parents. And these in itself, just looking at them, it's just very soothing, right? So these, these, this is a really nice thing to have. You can include like snacks and salty snacks, snacks and crunchy Ooh, snacks. And you can include as well books. Books are amazing. Yoga books or nice books here. I have this one, The Kissing Hand, which is um, actually about um, leaving mom, right? And kissing the hand because you have to leave for a little bit. This is actually a really nice one for kindergartners. But the nice thing I like about this is that it includes an audiobook. So if your child wants to read with an audiobook, it's a really nice thing to do by themselves. And I think that's the important thing is when you start doing your kit, do it together. You know, get to know it. If you see that your child is stressed, bring them to the kit and say, you know what, I think you're really stressed or I see anxiety. I think you need a moment with your kit. Let's do it together. And in time, what will happen naturally 
is that they'll start feeling kind of finding those signals, right? They'll mm -hmm. start thinking, oh, you know what? I'm really stressed just oh, a moment. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Yes, we'll do that in a minute. It's our surprise. So in a bit, what will happen naturally is that they'll, um, they'll be able to kind of read those signals themselves and know, know where to go, where to find the tools and the strategies that work for them. And that's the point of this is that in time, you want them to kind of do this by themselves so that they feel calm and they feel that special space, right, where they can get their own calm down kit and whatnot, so, and their own tools and strategies. So I really wanted to finish this with a fun activity that I thought we would do. Now, I don't know who is listening because I'm not able to see a stream. Um, so if you're sending a message, um, I'll have to answer you later. So this is a really fun thing for kids to do. So you're going to take your glass. I'm not sure if you had a chance to find the glass. And you're going to put, I don't know, a few drops in it. I thought it was water first. Well, we can do it whichever way. I'm just doing the drops first. Okay, you do water first. Okay, that's, I think that's pretty... Okay. Well, maybe a bit more. No, I need more. Yeah, you're right. Okay, now you put your drops in. I'm going to put my water in with my... And I guess we're going to test this out. I wouldn't put too many drops. Oh, I put them in here. Uh-oh. That's okay. <laughs> and then you're going to add soap. Now, I'm not sure how much soap we're going to need, but let's test this out. Now, the important thing is not... It's right here, big girl. The important thing is not to drink the water, but to blow. Ready? You think so? Let's make sure we can all see. Oh, I think that's good. Let's Don't try. Don't too much. Mm, okay, let's try. I'm going to try mine. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> okay, try yours, Char. I think you need a lot of soap. <gasps> All right, big girl. Go ahead. Go for it. Let's see those bubbles. I'm going to move the stuff here so everyone can see. I'm going to make a milkshake. And the idea of just using that breath in a fun way. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think we're going to need a cloth here, um, or a towel. <laughs> I guess we should have a towel or something on the ground, but that's okay, right? That's the fun of it, the idea of blowing bubbles. Okay, we're going <laughs> to stop now to blow the bubbles. So I actually have a really fun thing for all of you to do. So as you see here, we put together, and Charlie is going to walk away from the bubbles right now, because I think they're a little too much. So we're going to, we, as you see, we put together a little calm down kit and we were thinking, wouldn't it be nice if we could give this one away? So we're going to have a little contest. Oh my God. <laughs> That's okay. We'll fix it later. So we're going to have a contest and the contest is if you can send us videos or a picture even of your child doing the bubbles and really kind of having fun with it and whatnot, um, what we'll do is we'll pick, you know, the picture that we, uh, I don't know, that just really stands out for us and we'll let you know we'll pick one person and you get to win a calm down kit for your child or, or your youth. Win? Win, yeah, they're going to get to win it. And what we can do is we can just leave it, I can leave it outside my stuff uh, and then you can just come pick it up whenever you have the chance to. So uh, make sure to, <laughs> to look at those items, the different items to put in your kit and make sure to do the bubble one because this is a really fun one and uh, maybe you'll kind of come back another time. Maybe we'll work on making a pinwheel and stuff like that. And don't forget to join us this afternoon at 2 because we're actually going to be welcoming Jen Curry, who is actually a English lit teacher. And she teaches children's literature as well. And she's going to be reading a nice book for us. So it'll be a really nice way to calm down, right? To cope with all those feelings. So I think right now I'm going to have to go get something to clean this up, and we'll see you soon. All right, thanks everyone for joining us. <laughs> Say bye, Charlie. Bye.